All right, so there's a couple different ways that you can do this um, in terms of setup. You can see here that I'm going to have the glute ham about as long as it'll go because I'm using more weight with the barbell. Um, if you're using, let's say, just a barbell, you could also have the glute ham set up right around your mid thigh because then it's going to provide a longer lever. But because I was using more weight, I, want, I didn't want that lever quite as long, um, so I used a little bit longer space between the, the thigh pads and then where the feet are. And really what you wanna do is, is dependent upon, I mean, you can try both of them, you can try all of them, um, kind of different lengths and different weights. The, the premise of the exercise though stays the same. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be starting with the barbell rowed up at our chest, body straight, and then we're going to be dropping, catching, and then pulling the barbell up back to our chest as fast as we can. So go through that one more time. So again, you can imagine if the pads were more towards my thigh, I wouldn't be able to use this much weight because I wouldn't be able to actually pull myself back up. So if the, the closer the pad is towards your knee, the less weight that you're gonna be able to use and the more the um, force is gonna be put on your hamstrings. If we want a little bit more lower back, then we can go a little bit longer uh, space between the thigh pad and, and that foot. Uh, that foot setup. So again, you can you can really use any type that you want. I'll probably dictate on your log um, which one to do. If I don't, then just experiment with it and kind of figure out which one you like best and, and which one you want to do for that day.